Shotties in the back, wanna run it back We ain't turning back, we ain't done with that She be showing cat, I'ma die by night We ain't talking cat, we gon' run it back Shotties in the back, wanna run it back We ain't turning back, we ain't done with that She be showing cat, I'ma die by night We ain't talking cat, we gon' run it back Run it back Alright yo, welcome back, here's my boy John What's going on John? So uh Tell us a little bit about this hatch of yours. It's piece of shit. <laughs> um, it was a lot worse when you first got it. You said you bought it in the Keys, right? The Keys? Where'd you pick it up at? Yeah, oh, really? I thought, for some reason, I remember you telling me that you went, like, almost to the Keys and brought it back or something like that. I don't know whose hatch you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, well. It was, like, three different colors when I bought it. Gotcha. Maybe it was the motor that you went to go pick up down south somewhere. I'm probably confusing the stories. <laughs> I don't drive down south. Okay. So, uh, tell us a little bit about how this hatch was when you first got it. Well, I had a D13 bottom I've never even heard of a D13. <laughs> I think it's like a Canadian like, CRX engine. Okay. And it had an EK head. Gotcha. It was originally automatic. But okay. They manual swapped it. Okay. But they did it with a cable trans. <laughs> if you look like back here. Okay. I, I glued a piece of plastic here because they ran it through there. Okay. So, but when I swapped the B series in, uh huh, I had a B series trans. So You're right. Cable trans. Okay. But that shit ground every gear. It was a piece of shit. <laughs> And, <coughs> and I pushed the clutch like three times because it was a stage three. Okay. It, it ripped through the firewall. Wow. <laughs> that was a story I hadn't heard before. So, yeah. um, and then I think you mentioned something to me about the subframe having a EF rear bracket like welded to it or something. Yeah, I don't know if you can still see it because I ground it down, but it had the EF bracket welded like right here. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see in the lighting, but I mean, with it, not in the phone, I can actually see the where you grounded it down. It had EF spindles on it, so I had to change those back. It had the EF back. spindles? Yeah. That, I, I, I don't know if you actually told me that or if I forgot. <laughs> but yeah. it, So it had actual EF spindles or it had like DA spindles? Pretty sure they were, they were the small spline ones. Oh, so it was EF spindles. <laughs> yeah, so they went, they could have just thrown a fucking single cam in here and manual swap okay but they were <clears throat> so retarded yeah they literally went like what we like to call eyes backwards had no interior okay yeah they had yeah because now you got the full interior in here now and i know you've been working on that recently okay it's got the cargo cover Damn, this thing is like hella complete. Yeah, just don't mind the zip ties on one of those pants. They had that, but they cut like all the tabs off it. Okay. And like the cluster was just zip tied to that. Gotcha. Oh, these are the these are the door panels you just got, right? Have you? Yeah. Okay. I mean, these aren't that bad. Normally, you can like clearly see that they're destroyed on the EKs. Well, but it's not like too visibly bad. Well, I can see a little bit on the top, but it's not too, too, too bad. And then, so you got back seats, you got plastics back in here, and you just went through quite a bit of work to get those back. Yeah, those brackets, those are welded in, right? Yeah. So somebody actually went out of their way to cut the bracket for the back seats out of this car. Yeah, they're spot welded. I thought it was like a different thing for that side just because nothing was there. I seen a bolt hole, then I went to the junkyard. I went in the hatch. I was like, it's the same fucking thing. <laughs> I was like, somebody really fucking. So cut somebody, this out. somebody went out of their way to cut the the brackets for the back seats out. All right, and then so tell us a little bit about the motor because this motor's had a lot of different versions of it. There's a lot of things that you've gone through from when you picked it up. The transmission is the transmission you got for me still, right? Yeah. Okay. So tell us a little bit about this motor. LS bottom end. Mm-hmm. Okay, B18B. B16 head I got from you. Oh, that's right. Yep, I had forgotten about that too. Um, well, this is pretty much it. Gotcha. I mean, before this, it was just a B18 spot. Right. 
right 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 and it's on boost if you guys couldn't tell by the uh blow off valve or i think people just run those for decoration now there's no turbo here no there's no there's no turbo we've got a uh we've got intercooler down there and then the wastegate he's got vacuum to uh some remote actuator on the inside that when he hits the button and it activates it makes the stus -stu -stu noises that we all like to hear just got an air compressor there you go that's it pressurizes the turb pressurizes the line and then when he turns it off the blow off valve releases the pressure that's left right so basically the reason we're over here today is because uh this motor is having some issues with uh it's leaking right and it's doing uh what else you did a leak down test yeah cylinder three was the worst okay leakage yeah okay gotcha 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 so basically what we're gonna do here tonight is uh i'm just gonna go ahead and uh help him drop this motor out and uh oh actually i got the other block for you in the car too so what he's gonna end up doing is uh i brought him a bare block that i have and then he's gonna rip this head off and you're gonna take the block in first or you're taking them both at the same time at the same time okay so he's gonna take the block that uh the block that i'm bringing him so he's gonna take the block that i'm bringing him and that's basically all gonna get completely stripped down and then he's gonna take well the block that i'm bringing him is stripped down so that's gonna go to the machine shop and get cut it's gonna get decked and all that um then he's gonna go ahead and strip this one down the internals that are in this motor are actually brand new i mean you've barely driven this hatch yeah they're stock internals but so stock internals, but they're all brand new, all new bearings, all new rings and everything. So everything's gonna get transferred over. The block doesn't have any issues. The main issue is just in the top for whatever reason, um, the head just doesn't seem to be seating correctly or who knows what the issue is. Uh, we're gonna figure that out now. And uh, so all the internals from this block are gonna get put into this block that I'm bringing them. The head's gonna get cut. So it's got a nice fresh surface and then he's gonna put a new head gasket, made it all back together and drop it back in and uh that should be the end of those problems and um yeah i mean i don't really think there's much uh much else to say about this i love that level seven setup <laughs> not even from this car <laughs> <laughs> didn't you say that radiators from like a mini cooper or something like that S some austin rover or something Okay, so, but not a Honda. <laughs> not, a, not a Honda. It's an aluminum, aluminum radiator. And the reason for that was, I remember when you put like a Honda radiator in here, it was like... Yeah, like the way the turbo sits, it sits at like an angle, and okay. the downpipe was just like brushing against it. Gotcha. So like the first one, it melted through the, the actual core, it started leaking. I see. It's funny because I literally just had the same problem with the brand new radiator I just put in my car. Like I could have bought the half size radiator that they sell for these cars yeah this is like 40 bucks it's the same size pretty much gotcha so i would love to run a full size but yeah, me too but there's it's <laughs> well with your turbo it's definitely gonna I'm not gonna fit with my turbo it doesn't fit i mean it fits but you get a lot of heat soak i don't even think i'm gonna get a condenser in here because like the turbo sits like right here yeah well if you do the half size condenser, you can mount it in front. You'd probably be able to tuck it in. Or if you end up doing the uh, if you end up doing the AC tuck kit mm -hmm. um, that comes with the uh, with the single cam uh, AN condenser, I don't even think that has mount points. So I know for a fact you can tuck that in. You would just have to make brackets for it. Yeah, it mounts like right here. Yeah. So and you could actually even take those brackets and just flip them around. Take the fucking dash off. Yeah, that was another thing. That was, this man was getting so much hate <laughs> because he took an EK hatch with like no interior, completely gutted, like just destroyed. And uh, I mean, it should have been turned into like a full track car. And he brought it, he went back the other way. So he actually put this thing did not have an evaporator core in there. He put the evaporator core in there. Um, did it have the heater core in there or no? No, it didn't have anything. Didn't have a single thing. So now you can barely see it, but you can see there's a heater core there. He literally put everything back in. And uh, 
yeah, it's just funny to watch because he's like posting all this progress on his TikTok and everybody's just talking crap about why one guy specifically was saying, why would you go through all this? Why don't you just get a car with all that stuff in it? But oh, that guy. the people just don't understand. So, uh, yeah, it's like, this is Florida. It's a million degrees every day. Yeah. <laughs> what, what we get, like a week where we don't need AC? Yeah, no, and EK hatches are getting rare. So, I mean, nine times out of ten whatever ek hatch you find is already going to be molested and disturbed and it's not going to have any ac components in it so well, this one definitely had, had a couple fingers in it when i found it <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all so we got the motor out shane showed up helped speed things up a little bit yeah and we also test the tensile strength of all of the hoses and all of the lines in the bay they're strong they're good they hold they can hold the weight of the motor <laughs> We we did it, but uh, I think there was only one thing that we tested the textile strength for, and it was his. Uh, the we, return line. We didn't know that. Uh, no, it was the the return oh, line, which yeah. we ended up cutting, and uh, we didn't know his uh, oil pressure thing is a digital one, so it had a sensor going to the uh, to the sandwich plate. But yeah, so now what's gonna happen is uh, that's gonna go off to the machine shop and get dealt with. John's gonna disassemble it. Where's the other block? I brought him the other block over there. He's gonna take that to the machine shop, get it decked along with the head. And uh, he's gonna start taking components out of this motor, putting everything into that one over there. That way the process can just be a lot quicker and uh, get everything reassembled and put back in the car. And then what he's telling me is that he's gonna take his time with this engine bay. He's gonna strip everything down out of here and then he's gonna start sanding everything down shaving up this engine bay real good and he's gonna go ahead and respray it right john yeah you're a good liar bro. <laughs> <laughs> so he's also gonna do the brake tuck because he watched my video on yeah. the brake tuck 100%. yeah yep yep, yep. yep. <laughs> come back right where they were <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> hilarious <laughs> but uh yeah so that's pretty much gonna be it um i gave you guys pretty much a full tour of the car earlier we're gonna be seeing it a lot more once he gets all this done um he's uh like i said he's gonna assemble that motor put everything back in and uh like i explained in the beginning of the video it's because he did a leak down test he's been having issues where he's leaking compression um i think cylinder three if i remember correctly had like 30 percent leakage so uh yeah um once this all gets reassembled and stuff uh we're gonna come over here give him a hand getting the motor and everything back in place and uh a few other things that he's gonna touch up on like um, I think he's gonna he's gonna do new control arms because over on the other side one of the uh, one of the ball joints was shot so uh, he's just gonna go ahead and replace the control arms the easiest way to go about that and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so this is where we're gonna close out the video and it's gonna be the last we're gonna see of this hatch until next time you got anything else you want to add John no shame you got, any, you got anything stupid to say <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it for next time. I'll since, leave it for next time. Since you always busting out with some, yo, that chicken just ate a feather. <laughs> 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 I haven't seen the chicken yet. Yeah. Did you, so did you mention the chicken already? I did not mention the chicken. There is actually. By the yet. way, guys, there's a chicken there. <laughs> there is a there's a chicken just chilling. It's been pretty pissed off because uh, it looks like it normally goes to bed at like six, and we've been over here with this bright ass light right next to it. Most people have a <laughs> shop dog. We got a shop chicken. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so we're going to let the chicken get back to sleep and close out the video here. So, uh, we'll, uh, check you guys out on the next one.